Hi film friends, welcome to another 3635 basics video. Today we'll be showing you how we check secondhand film cameras to make sure that they are of working condition before we purchase them. Since you'll likely be buying secondhand when it comes to film cameras, we hope this will be useful for you. The first thing that you look at is the exterior of the camera. So usually you will look at whether the camera's exterior looks fine or not, whether there are paint chips or scratches or dents. So paint chips and scratches are actually rather common because the cameras are probably like older than you. But one thing that you have to watch out for is large dents, um, chips or cracks because that might mean that the camera has been dropped. The next thing you want to look out for is the light seals in the camera. So how you want to check that is you open up the camera and different cameras have different ways of opening it up so it's up to the camera and you look out for these like black um, spongy things inside the camera and you just check to make sure it's not disintegrating. If your light seals have disintegrated or are disintegrating it means that it won't work. Then you would risk like getting light leaks in your film when you actually shoot one roll. If your camera needs a battery to operate, the next thing you want to look out for is the battery compartment. First, you look at the battery door. So you want to make sure that it's working fine, it's not broken, you can open and close it well. And then next, you want to look inside the compartment to make sure that it's not corroded and that all the contact points are not rusty. Next thing you want to check for is all your ports in the camera. So that might include a tripod screw mount, a PC sync port, so that syncs to your flash, and a hot shield mount. So you want to just make sure that they are not dirty or corroded or rusty. As part of the external check, you want to make sure that all the moving parts in your camera move as they are supposed to. So that might include your shutter speed dial, your ISO dial, um, your film advance and maybe also your rewinding mechanism. Another thing that you want to check is your shutter curtain. So there are two types of shutter curtain. It could be either the fabric one or the metal one and some might even be plastic. When checking your shutter, you want to make sure that it's clean and there's no dirt, no fungus, no holes. So now we move on to the actual functionality of the camera and the first thing you want to check is the shutter of the camera. You want to check whether the shutter fires at all speeds and also whether you can cock the shutter. And um, when checking the shutter speeds, we usually check all speeds but if you are short on time, you might just want to check the bulb one, the one second one and the faster speed of the camera because those are the most recognisable that you can tell whether or not they are at the correct speed. Next thing you want to look out for is whether or not your film counter moves accordingly. So you just fire your shutter as usual and just check whether your film counter advances forward as what it's supposed to. And you should just check all the way. Yeah, you will check all the way. I will check all the way. I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But then the thing is, if it doesn't advance properly, you can ask for a cheaper price. <laughs> <laughs> After you've checked whether or not your film counter advances properly, you also want to make sure that it resets when you open the back of your film camera. When you're checking your shutter and the advance lever, you also want to open the back of your camera to see whether everything is working accordingly. So when you fire the shutter, you want to make sure that the shutter curtain opens. And when you advance the lever, you want to make sure that everything inside moves. I hit my elbow on the table. <laughs> you also want to check whether or not your viewfinder is clean because that will affect your shooting when you want to focus on your subject. So just look through the viewfinder <laughs> and make sure that it's not hazy or if it is, whether or not it affects your focusing. Usually, some dust is expected, but if it's too much dust that it affects your viewing, then that would be an issue. 
Ask for cheaper price. Okay, next. Ask for cheaper price. For rangefinder cameras, you also need to check the rangefinder patch. So when you focus the camera, the patch should move accordingly in the viewfinder. And also, you just want to make sure that it's clear enough, that the contrast is enough for you to see whether it's in focus or not. If your camera has a self-timer, make sure that when your self-timer ends, the shutter fires. This is a basic list of the things you want to look out for when doing an initial check of the camera. The next thing that you want to do is put an actual roll through the camera and shoot it. So once you've developed it, you will be able to see whether there's any issues with the light meter, the focusing, and whether or not there's any light leaks in the, from the camera. We will have another video coming out on how to check secondhand lenses before you buy them. So stay tuned for that. And now we've come to the end of this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if this has helped you out and share it with your friends if you think that it will help them as well. Let us know if you've missed out anything in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Till the next video, bye-bye.